going to do a little video of a walking stick that I made. This is a handle that I went to the um, hardware store and bought. It's 54 inches long. What it's for, I'm not even sure. But uh, I made this walking stick and I'll show you how it works. It's a uh, like I say, it's just a handle of some sort. It's got metal on the bottom end. One day I'll probably drill out the bottom and put a stud in it so I can put a replaceable bolts in for wear. Right now I don't have that. What this is is a 54 inch handle and I'll show you what I did here. Okay. I'm going to go over here and pick it up and see if you can see. The uh, feature of this is it has a little string on it, and that is a pin plunger. If you can see that right there, it's a pin plunger. So you pull that plunger out. push up on it, you have a knife blade. I have a uh, weird things happen to me and not long ago I was out hiking and I come across a very aggressive coyote and uh, got my dog with me and, and uh, he pretty well chased me back to the house. I didn't run, but I did walk back to the house. And I was about a mile from the house. And uh, put this back on, you just slide this on, click it in, there you have it. But I was about a mile from the house and uh, got me to thinking, a little walking stick would, uh, like this would sure be nice. So uh, that's what I did, I built me one. But uh, you'll see this blade, what I did here is I took this blade, and this is a heli blade, and uh, I don't know if you can see the name here. I don't believe you can see it, but it is a heli blade. And they don't have a full tang. <clears throat> and I just drilled a hole in the, um, in the, uh, <clears throat> bottom part of my walking stick and then stuck the handle in there. I mean the knife blade in. He pops it in. Then you can see here how I split this. Right there you can see I split the handle and then just drew around the blade after it was on. Drew around the blade and just cut that out with my uh, it's kind of like a Dremel tool and it's not. It's a more commercial machine but Take your Dremel tool and just uh, cut that out <clears throat> to match your blade and then I glue those two halves back together. Just make sure that you uh, have your blade greased up good when you glue those two halves back together so you don't glue your blade in. After I had that glued in, I uh, drilled me a pilot hole right here until I hit my regular blade, until I hit my uh, pilot hole in the wood until I hit my blade where it marked, pull it out, and drill that hole through the blade with a with a, um, a glass bit. I tried other bits, but nothing to drill that steel. It's extremely hard. <clears throat> and so I drilled that hole with a glass bit, a quarter inch glass bit. This plunger is a quarter inch. It's what they call a pin plunger. If you pull on it, you can see it come out there. That's a pin plunger. I'm sure you can't see inside of there, but that pin plunger engages that quarter inch hole in the blade. And uh, the walking stick, the stick itself, the handle, probably cost me uh, $12. The blade cost me uh, 25 And the pin plunger was a couple dollars. Then I wrap my handle with this as a treated 
fishing twine, it's actually net twine, is what I wrap my handle with. This little mark here, I just put that on there so I'd know which side. So when it's all said and done, again, it's just a walking stick. It's got a little surprise in it for that next aggressive coyote that comes after me.